I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. We'll apply many different formulas to get to the derivation of Morvich's formula for any given triangle ABC. The formula can be written as a plus b over c equals to cos of a minus b divided by 2 divided by cos of c by 2. This is one form of the formula. The other form of the formula is when we have a minus b over c. In that case, it becomes sine of a minus b by 2 divided by cos of c by 2. Now, to derive this formula, we are going to take help of some uh, trigonometric formulas which we have learned, basically the compound angle formulas. But here we have this sum of sines which is equals to 2 sine of alpha plus beta by 2 times cos of alpha minus beta by 2. So that is the formula which converts sum of sines to their products with half their angles as shown here. So this particular formula will be further utilized along with the sine law to prove why. So let's begin our derivation. We'll actually do it in two parts. To derive the formula, we will actually first use sine law to write a plus b over c as sine a plus sine b over sine c. And then we are going to derive the formula. So it, it will be done in two steps. So I hope uh, the strategy is absolutely clear. Right? So basically, we'll begin with the triangle ABC, any general triangle. So in this triangle ABC, the sides will be lowercase abc. Now you can apply sine law in any triangle. So, so in a given triangle, we can always write sine of a over a is equals to sine of b over b is equals to sine of c over c and that is always equal to a constant. Now we want to see what is a plus b over c. So let's write what is a, what is b and what is c in terms of these angles, correct? So from here we get a is equals to just cross multiply, right? So is sine a over the constant k, b is equals to sine b over the constant k and c is equals to sine c over the constant k. So, so from here you can always write what is a plus b over c, correct? So let's do that. So we have here a plus b over c. Let us substitute these values. We get sine a over a constant plus sine b over the constant divided by sine c over the same constant. So clearly the constants will cancel. So we can always cancel this resulting into the first part of our derivation where we'll write this a plus b over c as sine of a plus sine of b over sine of c. Right, so that is the first part of our derivation. Now from here, we'll actually derive the formula. So we have sum of angles, correct? So we have sum of sines, right? So we'll convert this into the product form. So sine A plus sine B could be written as two times sine of A plus B by two times cos of a minus b by 2, right? That is converting sum to product. The denominator, which is sine of c, we could write c as 180 minus a plus b, okay? So we could do that. But, well, in a double angle formula, sine c could also be written as 2 sine 
c by 2 times cos c by 2. Since we see sin c by 2 in the denominator, that's a good option. So we wrote as in half angle formulas, right? So 2 and 2 cancel. So we have the expression sin a plus b by 2 times cos a minus b by 2 divided by sin c by 2 times cos c by 2. So we are actually very close to this formula now. The only thing is we need to cancel sin a plus b by 2 and cos c by 2. So c could be written as 180 minus a plus b. So that should help us to uh, find the solution, right? So we could write this as numerator is sin a plus b by 2 times cos a minus b by 2 and the denominator we have sin c by 2 which we'll retain times cos c by 2 so we could write c as 180 minus a plus b right so that is c by 2 now at this stage cos of 180 minus a by 2 a plus b by 2 could be written as 90 minus a plus b by 2 right so let's rewrite this as sine of a plus b by 2 times cos of a minus b by 2 over sine c by 2 times cos of 180 by 2 is 90 minus a plus b by 2, correct? Now, what is cos of 90 minus theta? Cos of 90 minus theta is sine theta, right? So, is sine theta. So, that helps us to cancel away the given common factor, right? So, we could write this as, let me change the ink, sine of a plus b by 2 times cos of a minus b by 2 over sine c by 2 times this becomes sine of a plus b by 2, right? So we have a common factor in numerator and denominator. This could cancel and we'll get our result. You see that part? So once you cancel this, you have your result, which is cos of a minus b by 2, or half of a minus b, divided by sine of c by 2, correct? So that is called Morvich's formula. So that is how you could actually derive this formula. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Now you can follow the same strategy to derive an alternate form of this equation where we have a minus p. So in that case, it becomes sine of a minus p over 2 in the numerator and cos c by 2 in the denominator. So I'll leave this as an exercise for you to do, right? So I think that should help. And the formula which we applied uh, to convert sum of angles I mean, the sum of signs to product was this particular formula, which you might need to do your question, right? So in your case, you're going to use a difference formula, right, to get the result. So that should help you. So I hope with this, you understand how we could derive an expression for A plus B by C in terms of cosine and sine of half of these angles perfect. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.